Would we be right to assume that managing things is way easier than managing people? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. Ernest Agyeman Kieboa, an American author, said, Some people are like eggs. The more you apply heat to them, the harder they become. To hatch them, use gentle heat and to keep them alive, just keep them cool. It doesn't sound straightforward, I know, but here's the thing. It also looks like there's a trick to it. It's like this. When you know just the right amount of heat to apply to eggs, you'll know when to either hatch them, toughen them or break them. Guess what? That's how people management works. There are tricks to it and anyone can learn how to manage people effectively. Still according to Ernest Agyeman Kieboa, when we understand people, when we understand situations, when we understand what matters, when we understand the whys, the words, the hows, when we understand the trigger of actions, we least inflict pain on ourselves and onto others. So in this video, I'll share with you 5 tips to effectively manage people. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. Become an effective communicator. Generally, building relationships with people requires communication. It is the first place to begin and in managing people as well, it cannot be left out. To be an effective communicator means that you can pass your message across to the other party and adequately able to receive theirs without any form of misinterpretation from both ends. Effective communication is about how you make people feel around you. It is what determines how well people will respond to you. When managing a team or group of employees, be open enough to communicate the latest updates on every ongoing project. Make them feel among the team. Nobody wants to be tossed aside or made to feel irrelevant wherever they find themselves. Also, being an effective communicator means to become a better listener. You want to make sure you are attentive make eye contact, take notes, and wait for the other person to finish before you start to talk. It helps both parties understand each other better because you won't have to assume things since you heard them clearly and gave them enough attention to express the true intents of their hearts. Being an excellent communicator also means making yourself approachable and accessible. Be the kind of person or boss people can approach easily at any time to air their opinion. Also, encourage feedback and listen to other people's suggestions. That you are in a better position than they are doesn't mean that you'll always be right or you'll know everything better than the rest of the world. So, be open to constructive criticism and feedback. Number 2. Learn to separate personal problems with organizational problems. Every relationship will always encounter some rough grounds and frictions. However, when working with people, you need to be able to differentiate personal problems from organizational problems. Working with people can be challenging because most times, we tend to think that the most important thing is getting the work done, so we put the job over others. Do you know what happens when we do that? We flare up at their mistakes and in most cases, take it too personally. The problem with doing this is that you soon begin to mix things up. You begin to attach your feelings to it and it becomes challenging to create a cordial work relationship. Although you might get the work done this way, it will be due to negative pressure, not positive, and this can eventually wreck your relationship with them. Number 3. Acknowledge good works. Don't be the kind of person that feels too proud to appreciate other people's work when they perform excellently well. You know, it won't take anything from you to do that. Don't be the kind of person who is known for criticizing other people's works at all times. Here's the thing, everyone wants to do a good job, so when they do so, recognize it by appreciating it. This type of recognition always goes a long way in boosting their self-confidence and encouraging them to do even better. Also, encourage creativity and ensure that everyone is clear about what is expected of them to avoid unnecessary arguments or friction amongst everyone. However, you need to know how to balance both praise and criticism to thrive. 
If you only give praise for good work, you won't give people the chance to grow. But if on the other hand, you only criticize them, you'll make them demoralized and discouraged. Number 4. Understand everyone's purpose or assignment. To be able to manage people effectively, you have to understand their purpose and assignment and also know what brings them joy. Realizing this will help you relate with them better because you know what they want and what they are willing to do so well. Although, understanding their purpose will help you delegate the right assignments to them because you don't want to find yourself asking the wrong person to do the right task and vice versa. Here's the thing, people want to work on projects where they believe they can do well. And when allowed to do so, they feel more connected to their work. Recognizing this will help you learn how best to deal with them. Number 5. Learn to check on people when you don't need anything from them. You know that friend that only calls you when they need something? Well, you don't want to be that kind of person amongst your teammates. You don't want to wait until something is wrong before you become courteous and friendly. No, be empathetic. Seek the welfare of your teammates and check up on them when you don't need them to do anything for you. Otherwise, they will begin to avoid your calls knowing fully well that you are calling to either demand something or give them some extra work. Managing people isn't that difficult after all. If only you realize it is more about how you make people feel whenever they are around you. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.